hi guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new here my name is hannah renee and it is so nice to meet you today i'm going to be doing a quarantine essentials video so it's all the things that i need to survive quarantine <laughs> and i'm trying this new setup today hopefully this works out well i stole my mom's room <laughs> so we'll see if i like this setup as you have probably known if you haven't watched my other videos recently you didn't know but I've been trying new setups for filming because my room is in my parents living room so it's not very quiet in there so I'm trying to find a place to film my videos so we're going to test this one out let me know how you like it and without further ado let's just jump right on into this video is definitely a cozy blanket and this one has like the I don't know what you would call this material side it has the fuzzy side and I think this one is from Target but my mom gave this to me and it is just my favorite I'm pretty much wearing this blanket all day so I definitely recommend investing in a good cozy blanket next one is a good book and if you've been watching my videos for a very long time, I've been reading this book for probably two years or something crazy. It's the third book in the Maze Runner series called The Death Cure by James Dashner. So I recommend reading all of those like teen sci-fi fiction books because those are really fun to watch because they also have movies with them too. Sometimes the books don't match the movies though, so that can be unfortunate. But I still recommend you can read the book and then watch the movies to go with it. Next is a candle and I actually wasn't allowed to have candles when I was at my dorm. But now that I'm back, I have been loving this candle because it just smells summery. It's mango melon, but I don't know where it's from. It says DW Home. Truthfully, I think this was a gift. So I don't know where this is from, but you can get great candles pretty much anywhere. Next is a face mask and I don't actually have any face masks that I like right now so if you have any I recommend them down below because I would love to try out some new ones but all the face masks that I have are just little samples that I've received and I don't really like them but I'm just trying to use them up but I definitely recommend a face mask. This is the time to give your <laughs> skin some attention if maybe you have acne or something like that. I definitely recommend trying to do some face masks or something special for your skin during the quarantine because that's been something fun that I've been doing. Next is my planner. This one is from Target. That's what it looks like in the front and then in the actual pages. So there is a lot. I'll do like a little close up for you if you're able to see that. But what I like to write on here is YouTube things wedding planning things because I'm still doing that. I also write all my homework and stuff and then when I do the hours I write just my daily schedule for the day. So I recommend if you have not had a planner, which I don't know why you wouldn't at this point, definitely get one and now's the time to get used to using one. Next is definitely my AirPods and I didn't even ask for these but I got them like two Christmases ago and I definitely use these all the time, whether it's with my Zoom calls for classes or if I'm watching YouTube videos. So if you're not as bougie as apparently I am, just regular headphones are fine. But I've been using my AirPods a ton since I've been in quarantine recently. Next is this big old basket of scrunchies. I pretty much wear my hair in a scrunchie every day because I'm not really wearing it down right now. I normally will wear it in a ponytail, sometimes a bun. Today I did something a little cute with a braid, but I've been using my scrunchies every moment of every day. There's definitely a deal that I've heard about on Amazon where you can buy like a ton and it's only $20. So you can do that. Next is the iMessage games. I stopped playing with these for a while, but I recently started again and I play my friends during our Zoom calls, which is fun. The next thing that I would recommend 
The next thing that I would recommend right now is a devotional. And if you didn't already use devotionals, now is the time to use them. Just because it makes your time with God just a little bit more interesting and it gives you a focus on what you can be thinking, studying about. And this one specifically is from Jesus Calling. And it has a little message for every single day. I have been really enjoying it a lot. So definitely recommend this devotional or any other devotional that you can find. Going along with the devotional is a journal. Obviously, I'm sounding like a broken record at this point, but even if you don't like journaling every day, maybe doing it once a week or something like that, just because getting your thoughts on paper is not only good for your soul, but it's good to look back on to remember where you were and to remember what it was like to be in quarantine. Next is some sort of immunity boosters. My mom was a essential oils distributor so she worked for doTERRA we use their immune boosters so much because they are so helpful and they're natural so we take them every single day you should definitely take some whether it's doTERRA or something else next for some reason my family has been getting a lot of ices recently <laughs> I don't really know why we've been getting so many ICs recently, but we've been addicted to them. But I always get the Coke one mixed with the cherry one. So if you have never had an IC from a gas station, that is just a fun summer experience in itself. Next is some sort of lip balm. The ones that I have are these little EOS ones. Obviously, you probably have seen these everywhere because they're at like every drugstore walmart target those types of places so i definitely recommend lip balm next is <laughs> bralettes because right now no one really wants to wear a real bra so you're probably not wearing any right now but my favorite is bralettes because they're just so comfortable and there's no wire that's involved with them. Next is That 70s Show, is the show that I'm watching right now with Alec. I've never seen it, but he's seen it, and it's not very appropriate, but it's really funny. Lastly, some games that my family has been playing is Spot It, and basically, if you don't know what Spot It is, all of the cards have random items on them. So I'll show you like one of the cards. And what you have to do is you have one card starting in the middle and the rest of the cards are evenly distributed between all of the players. And then you have to match whatever one item on your card matches the one item on the card down on the table. So like for here, this is the card what I have that matches this is, I'm looking. Oh, this little man right here, I have the little man right there. So then I put that down and you wanna get rid of your cards as fast as possible. So we've been loving this game. It's very fast paced, so you have to have good hand-eye coordination. And the second game we've been loving is Skippo. It's way more complicated than Spot It, so I'm not gonna try to explain it to you, but it is a card game and it is a lot of fun if you read the instructions and learn how to play. So this has been a classic for us and we've been playing this a lot in my home. And that's the end of this video. Thank you for watching so much. And I have some more videos coming up. What I did is I had some Instagram polls that you guys voted on and that's what this video is a result of. You guys voted to see a quarantine essentials video. So all of my videos for the month of April are things from that poll. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and you enjoyed the future videos that I have coming up in quarantine. And if you did enjoy it, make sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe to this channel and let me know of any other video ideas you like to see from me because I love to do this for you. And I'll see you guys next Monday. Bye guys!